Imagine being born into a world of deceit where your destiny is determined by your cunning rather than your birthright. Welcome to the intriguing life of Jacob. Born a twin, Jacob and his brother Esau were the sons of Isaac and Rebekah. Even before their birth, a prophecy foretold an unusual future. The elder, Esau, was destined to serve the younger, Jacob. As they grew, it was clear they were as different as night and day. Esau was a robust hunter, while Jacob was a quiet homebody. But it was Jacob's cunning that would define their destinies. One day, as Esau returned home famished from hunting, Jacob saw an opportunity. He offered his brother a bowl of stew, but the price was high. In his hunger, Esau sold his birthright to his younger brother. Yet this was only the beginning of Jacob's cunning. With the help of his mother, Rebekah, Jacob would go on to deceive his own father, Isaac. Disguised as Esau, Jacob received the blessing that was meant for his older brother, and so Jacob the deceiver became the blessed. But at what cost? As we delve deeper into Jacob's life, we encounter a man on the run, yet destined for greatness. Fleeing from his brother Esau's wrath, Jacob sought refuge in the house of his uncle Laban. Here, he found more than just safety. He found love in the form of Rachel, Laban's younger daughter, yet in a twist of irony, the deceiver was deceived. Jacob worked seven years to win Rachel's hand, only to wake up married to her elder sister Leah. But Jacob's heart was steadfast. He worked another seven years to marry his beloved Rachel. Jacob's family, however, didn't stop growing there. His wives Leah and Rachel, along with their maidservants, Bilhah and Zilpah, bore him twelve sons and a daughter. These children weren't just the next generation of a family, but the patriarchs of the twelve tribes of Israel, shaping the future of an entire nation. In the midst of deception and hardship, Jacob's family grew, shaping the twelve tribes of Israel. In the final chapter of Jacob's life, we witness a transformation, a man wrestling with God, earning a new name and leaving a lasting legacy. Jacob alone one night wrestles with a divine figure. This struggle symbolizes his life's journey and as dawn breaks he is blessed and renamed Israel, meaning one who struggles with God. Moving forward, Jacob, now Israel, reconciles with his estranged brother Esau, marking a pivotal moment of forgiveness and peace in his tumultuous life. Yet the drama doesn't end there. Jacob's favorite son Joseph is sold into slavery by his own brothers, a heartbreaking betrayal that shapes the course of Israel's family history. As we approach the end of Jacob's life, we see a man who has navigated trials and tribulations, deceit and redemption. His death is mourned by an extensive family, his 12 sons becoming the progenitors of the 12 tribes of Israel. Jacob's life, marked by deceit, struggle and transformation, serves as a reminder that God's plans are often beyond our understanding. The story of Jacob is a testament that God never gives up on us, even when we are far from perfect.